Hey y'all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I am Darren. Today, I got something in the mail I'm gonna test out. This is the Sear Pro Safe Flamethrower. Uh, it's new, it's a Kickstarter right now. It's out there to compete with the sous vide gun and the grill gun. It's, uh, we're gonna take a look, see if this thing can hold up to the sous vide gun or the grill gun. I'll be right back. Smoking, grilling. All right, guys, if you uh, subscribe to my channel or watched any of my videos, you do know that I was one of the first uh, people to uh, jump on board the uh, Kickstarter for the sous vide gun, the grill gun, when they first came out. I was actually one of the first ones to get prototypes uh, from Bob, the owner of uh, Grill Blazer, and actually ordered a couple of these on the Kickstarter myself, and so far had uh, no issues with them whatsoever. They work great, work do exactly what they're supposed to do, um, so I have no issues with them. But the manufacturer of the Sear Pro actually kind of started out a little bit before uh, Bob, from what I understand, he was making um, his prototypes before. And um, if you guys watched CV Anything or Everything with Guga, you've probably seen his early adapter. He actually made a, a torch for Guga that was kind of similar design, but um, now he's kind of put it together in a real package and has got a Kickstarter going. And like I said, here's the box that came in. It's got some basic safety information in it. I just kind of want to show you what it looks like. You can find it on searpro.com or you can just search searpro. And if you look, it looks kind of similar to the sous vide gun as far as size wise goes. It's got your little uh, button here or uh, valve turn off and on here to open the gas. Got your uh, attachment for the can. and got a built-in lighter. Now one of the things you're going to notice right away is it is smaller than the sous vide gun. Definitely smaller than the grill gun. So as far as size wise goes, the grill gun's definitely got the reach and the sous vide gun is actually a little bit longer. One of the things I like about the grill gun over the sous vide gun is the length when I'm lighting my Kamado grill or my uh, Hasty Bake, or even the PK. With lump charcoal, it tends to spark a lot when you're lighting it, so having that extra length on the grill gun to be able to stand back farther and get it lit, I really, that's what I use my grill gun for. The CV gun, I use that primarily for searing uh, my CV cooks, and that's probably what this would be more used for. I can't really um, see lighting a lump charcoal fire with this just from the fact the experience that I had trying to light with the, su the sous vide gun the same thing just having all the sparks come and hit and burn your arm or in your face and all that but one of the things I do not know if this has which I know the grill gun and sous vide gun have are built in uh, check valves for safety so that if you turn happen to turn your uh, propane tank sideways or upside down the liquid propane doesn't come flying out and squirt out everywhere but we're going to kind of test that out and see so let's get at it I'm going to hook this up to my propane tank here and we'll do a little bit of comparison to see how it compares to the grill gun and sous vide gun all right guys like I said in the box it does have safety uh, protocols and guidelines on there and it pretty much tells you to not turn it upside down or sideways so that you don't have the issues um, with the liquid propane coming out now is that a replacement for a check valve uh, personally I don't think it is because lots of people don't read directions out there and um, or if you get a kid that uh, gets a hold of this and tries to uh, turn it sideways and watch the flames come squirting out it's it can be a really a real problem there so 
we'll see if this uh, actually has that built in. I don't see anywhere on here where it says that it does have a check valve. But like I said, there's no book or anything. I don't know if it uh, this is you know if this is a prototype or if this is what they're actually going to be getting when you uh, sign up for the Kickstarter. If this is going to be the actual end product, but this is pretty much all you get. You get a couple pieces of paper uh, with some safety instructions on and very limited it's got it on the box as well yes no 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 <laughs> so but i'm going to go ahead and one of the things like i said you have your little adjustment here unlike the grill gun and cv gun you do have a little uh clicker uh, on the trigger here that can open up your your gas on the uh on the cv gun and the grill gun but um, that's not how you light it that's to give you that extra burst of you know lighting power. Uh, you don't have that on here. You're pretty much going to have to adjust your flame from your uh, knob on the top. So just like the CV gun or grill gun, you want to just turn it on just a little bit till you hear the gas coming out. And then light it. Nope, it's not lighting. Let's see. Five minutes later. Well, that's the first problem. I can't get it to light. Ah, oh, there we go. I guess it's got to be just barely on for it to go, to get lit. All right, and you can see I got my flame coming out. It's a little windy today. I'll try to get it to where the wind's not. You can see that. And then you can adjust your flame. As you can tell, it gets a pretty good flame there. Uh, one of the things I want to see though is if it does have a check valve to stop it from shooting out the propane. Uh, it does not. As you can tell, that does not have a check valve. So what that's doing is actually shooting liquid propane out through here and it can actually come out like a flamethrower um, if you had it turned you know upside down where the actual propane was coming strictly streaming right out of here so that's an issue I think that this is going to have over the grill gun and the CV gun um, it is shorter uh, I think just try it again with the just just barely cracking that to get that lit let's see where it's going to be for me to actually get it going okay so maybe about a eighth of a turn all right so it does shoot some flame out Like I said, one of the things that it is short. If you're going to just use this to sear your uh, steaks or something after sous vide, I could see it if it's going to be used similar to the uh, sous vide gun. Uh, I just want to kind of show you what the sous vide gun does um, when you uh, get it going like this. Get the same. You got the adjustability on the knob, but then you got. On the trigger here, you can actually increase the uh, gas outlet on the trigger as well. But one of the things it does, if you turn it sideways or upside down, it can uh, shut off. You won't be able to get it going anymore. The check valve's uh, activated, so it won't uh, let you... Uh, won't let you uh, put out a lot of gas anymore. I'm going to do the same thing with the grill gun. And pretty much with the grill gun, I know as soon as I hear the gas, I can hit the trigger and it'll start. And you see that? It uh, kicked in the uh, check valve and now I can't turn it up anymore. 
And uh, the, the way you uh, go about releasing that is you unscrew it. You'll hear the little gas release. And then you can put it back on. And it releases the check valve. And you can go back to uh, using it as normal. So, well, there you go, guys. Sear Pro. Um, from what I understand, this is on Kickstarter right now for $100. The grill gun, CV gun, they're a little bit more expensive. <clears throat> That's true. I think the CV gun is like 120, and the the grill gun's like 140 to 150 dollars. But then again, there's act actually built-in safety precautions into both of the grill gun and CV gun. Now this, if it might be something, if you are all you're wanting to do is sear. Maybe you have a small charcoal grill or something. I'm going to show you. I'll, I'll use this and the uh, grill gun. Um, in a second to show you how both of them can light my PK. The PK is easy to show you on because it's uh, pretty close up. I don't have to uh, get down deep like into my Kamado or the uh, Hasty Bake. So let me show you that right now. Hi right, guys, I got my PK set up here. Um, really shouldn't be much of a difference as far as how they can light. But I'm going to show you that. We'll actually use the Sear Pro first to give that a chance to uh, show off. And again, I'm going to try to get this just right, where I can get this going. And this is a little bit more uh, sensitive as far as lighting it goes than the grill gun or sous vide gun. And that may just be because of the way the lighter is set up in there. I'm going to go ahead and blow this up as uh, open as possible. tell that's lit so if you saw all those sparks I was talking about they were hitting my hand hitting my arm um, I really wasn't able to get too far back <coughs> because of that but um, it did put out a good amount of flame good amount of heat started that uh, pile of charcoal pretty good um, it probably within three or four minutes I could start cooking on that no problem so now let's uh, you know, to check out the grill gun. Now, one of the things, you know, the selling points of this is you don't need an extra stand because it's not off balance. If you use especially that bigger uh, green Coleman propane tanks, there's no worries about it being off balance. With the grill gun and even the CV gun, you, you need to have a stand because it's longer. So, of course, there's more weight to the front, which would make it tip over. Um, but like I said, one of the selling benefits to me of the grill gun is that I can stand further back when I'm lighting this lump charcoal. So let me go ahead and get this going. And again. Ah, see, there goes the check valve because I had it turns a little bit too far. It's the flame is about the same, but I'm much farther away. See, I'm much farther away. I don't have to worry about all those sparks and everything else. Then I can shut it off, put it down, and that's ready to go too. So powerful, I mean, they're both powerful. They both um, put out a good amount of heat. They'll both light your grill. The grill gun, for, especially for lighting a grill, is much better for me because it gets me farther away. It has the ability to use the trigger to increase the power. The Sear Pro doesn't. Now, the Sear Pro is also cheaper. So that's another thing if that's what you're looking for. Personally, I would go more towards safety myself but instead of work looking more at price but I know that there's people out there that will look at price so that's all I wanted to do with this video is just kind of show you the similarities and a little bit of differences on the sear gun 
or the Sear Pro and the grill gun. We can also look, since I'm here and I have the Sear or the sous vide gun, I might as well just kind of give you the same example there. Like I said, that's one of the things I I prefer to use the sous vide gun to sous, uh, just to sear my sous vide cooks, or the sous vide or uh, sear steaks or anything like that. I usually don't light my grill with the sous vide gun just because of the fact that it gets me too close to the lump charcoal. The grill gun puts it just far enough away I don't have to worry about the sparks coming up at me. So the sear, the sear pro very similar to the CV gun except it doesn't have the safety valves and the uh, increase uh, in the uh, in the uh, trigger here in the uh, handle all right guys well thanks for watching follow us on Facebook Instagram Twitter check out the sear pro on uh, their website I'll, I'll put a link in below it's on Kickstarter right now for a hundred dollars check out CV gun and the grill gun on grillblazer.com They've actually been in production now for over a year. They're doing really well. So check it out. I'll see you again on the next Fire and Water Cooking video. But make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and follow the Fire and Water Cooking podcast.